We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hawkeyes in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Tackle at the 47-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Throws into a crowd, and this one's going the other way. Interception. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at it. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Let's it fly. And he makes a catch. And he's taken down at the 24. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. That makes it second and ten. From the 24-yard line, it's third down. Throws incomplete. That'll bring up fourth and long, and we should be seeing the kicker here. Good stand by the defense to keep them out of the end zone on this drive. Michigan State is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing, Michigan State. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Spartans are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. but he can't shake the defense. A pickup of five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. That makes it third and seven. Third and seven coming up here. 
Ball on their own 38. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He'll take it from the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Michigan State holds a field goal lead. Set. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 43. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That makes it second and 14. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Red two. Dangerous pass, and they just about had it going the other way. Number 16, the intended receiver away. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Michigan State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it so it's second more. down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike 40, Mike 40. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. hit before it can go anywhere. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, uh, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. He's tackled at the 42. So did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From the 42-yard line, second down. That's a great tackle. The 37-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 86 to man, 86 to man. Watch me. 48. We played one quarter. Michigan State in front, 3-0. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Hey! 
Tackle made around the two-yard line. First and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Hey, pick your game up. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Let's switch to Mike right here. Mike, Mike, Mike 40. Mike 40. You're right, you're right. Ready. Motion, motion, Red 68. Motion, motion. Red 68. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Run, run, run. Gets it on the pitch. And he's tackled at the one. Gain of about a yard on the halfback toss. That brings up second goal. It's second and goal. One yard to the goal line. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They hand it off. They go to the left for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Dog four, check, check. Answer, Dan. Throws right, intercepted. Brought down around the 39-yard line. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. From the 39-yard line, first down. Iowa is up by four. Little handoff. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. Quick throw. Tackle at about the 35. Gain of five yards. Third down. From the 35 yard line. Third down. 17, 17. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. Here we go. Green and Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 23 yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. That's a team of two. That brings us second and nine. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. Three down, three down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Steps out of bounds around the 18-yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Iowa is up four. 
Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important board games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Quick pass. He's hit and taken down. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. Easy, easy. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Third down. Green eye, green. He guns it to the left. They're going to be forced to put it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. That'll make it fourth and six. Booming kick. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Now we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break eventually could be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Iowa up seven points. He's to the 40, keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and, and ten. ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45. Four down, four down. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. Ready! Quick toss. And it's picked off. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Quick pass. Man open, and he dropped it. Number 20 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Check A3, ball's going to A3. Black Find his receiver, and that's a first down. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. The 46 yard line. First down. Green eye, green eye. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And they make the stop at the 35. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He's on the run. And down he goes, around the 32-yard line. The Spartans are going to call their second timeout. It's second and seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he throws it away. Steps out at about the 29-yard line. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board.
The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Iowa holds a four-point lead. Opening. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. He stood in there that time against the Blitz. They were coming after him, but he showed the poise and was able to connect for a big game. Ready! Red 68! Red! Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The Hawkeyes use their second timeout. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Complete and he stopped immediately. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. A great first half comes to a close. 10 6, Hawkeyes. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. run there. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. Hey, two. He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Hit, hit, hit. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's a good work, Lee. Three yards. That makes it third and 11. Pressure got to him, and it's picked off. He's at the 40. And he's level at the 33. Oh, boy. I 
I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Iowa is up by four. Here we go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Right around the 18 yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Number 99 makes the set goal at the 15 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. it to the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line, third down. He's going to try and scramble. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Kicks up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring, bring up second, up second and 11. 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 24. Dog four! And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Catches it, and that's all. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 30. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Iowa is up by a touchdown. And they hit him in the backfield. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Let's go! He's into the open field. And he tackles him hard at the 44. Game of 14 on the play. First down. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Hey. 
Throws left. The running back's got it. Brought down around the 41-yard line. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Rally. Rally. Put on. On play action, he'll scramble. They need to get it down to the 34. That's three down and one to go. Iowa's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Iowa is up a score. Here's the throw to the fullback. That's a great tackle at the 37. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It has the distance. And he got it. They're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hawkeyes have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. made at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Red two. <laughs> Tackle right around the 36-yard line. a yard on the run. Call it a gain of one yard. That, that makes, makes it second, second and ten. ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Green nine, green nine. And he's taken down at about the 45. third down so they obviously had to get to the sticks and they did just that with this little pass play. Pass is caught the defense lays him out. That makes it second and six. It's second down six to go. Ball on the 47. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws it to coverage, just picked off. Unbelievable. This defense just continues to impress. This just must feel like a bad dream to this offensive coordinator. Nothing has gone right today, and his quarterback is really off target. From their own 42-yard line, first down. He 
gets out to about the 45-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Two times, two times. Here we go. Three ninety-five. They go with the run. He's taken down at the 48. The back gets three on the carry. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Makes it to the 41. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and 10. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Check number 19, check number 20. Black 55. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Just a minute remains in this football game. Under a minute left. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 16-6, Hawkeye. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.